You're listening to Marketing Mavens on Good Morning Delhi with Sarthak. And what a lovely idea it is because uh, what we're trying to do is uh, try to tell you the stories behind the ideas on Marketing Mavens. We've got the wonderful uh, Hari Krishnan uh, with us. Uh, uh, Hari, you have a fancy uh, 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 explanation for what you do also. Right? You call yourself a branding and culture uh, 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 expert, don't you? Yeah, that's because to me brands don't exist in market they ex- mm. they exist in culture mm. and they, they do bit, they, and they add to culture that's true actually and, and that's, that's why I, I i kind of uh, always talk about uh, staying in culture and mo- more than i stay in market and uh, uh, of course uh, there's a day job also that you do <laughs> yeah i head uh, content and innovation for publicis uh, group that's yeah. that's what he does and uh, uh, and ever so often on a thursday he drops into the studio to which is a which is a delightful experience <laughs> it is uh, i'm sure for the listeners as well so i guess uh, we can uh, uh, very easily call this a mutual appreciation society <laughs> which is which is lovely but um, you had a very interesting thought right now and obviously because of chandrayaan and the way chandrayaan is being used by a lot of people uh, especially the way uh, the amul the, the iconic amul ads have uh, uh, used the whole moon and chandrayaan thing and uh, you want to talk about moment marketing today yes yeah moment marketing which a lot of people also call topical advertising mm. so it's been on for many many years now right. and uh, the brand that you pointed out which is amul mm. is of course a stellar example of how uh, dakuna actually started that Absolutely. several years ago the late undoubtedly great mr dakuna legend uh, i mean one of those who defined a whole uh, industry in, in, in with his work and with his passion no yeah because if you look at it what we see today on social media is when memes come out mm. uh, and we say hey memes but amul's been doing this for decades when the and word meme did not even exist, exist in the marketing <laughs> the parlance. internet did not exist <laughs> when it started actually. yeah and i and i'm glad you said that because we used to pass by these fixed holdings. billboard sites and holdings yeah. and Every time something new happened, Am- Amul used to change the holding. And in fact, we were. Do you remember we used to wait in anticipation for about what it what's do? going to be yes. next? Yeah. What's the next Amul? And they had that top corner uh, 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 twin column that they had. Yeah. I think. On yes, the, on on top on of a newspaper. newspaper. Yeah. And, and and I guess between the newspaper and the holding that we used to pass by while going to school, I still remember Panchkhya Road. There was a very big oh, holding yeah. from years together, and we used to uh, just be overjoyed when we saw the new. Uh, Amul I, holding. Painting. I still remember because uh, you know when uh, when India lost a charger, uh, the cricket team ah. lost a charger. There was a brilliant one. It said it was Sharja, S H A R J A H, not Harja. Harja. <laughs> and, and I was like, man, I want to be in advertising. I mean, this is so cool. But uh, but but that's our grounding, isn't it? And and moment marketing in that way has been happening. Some people have made it a bit of a calling card, haven't they? Right? That's right. But uh, it doesn't always work, does it? It. Uh, by and large works for brands which stay consistent mm. because what happens is that if you if you're a flash in the pan like you, you just say okay i just want to align with what the public is talking about right now but then you have to do it all the time mm. so there is an always on calendar mm. and and you just can't so the thing about moment marketing is you may say something about something that happens today mm. but you only gain that reputation of aligning with moments when you do it over a period of time yeah like amul absolutely uh, like zomato which is doing it now uh, like pepsi which used to do it for a very long time absolutely. uh we've been talking about moment marketing we talked about how amul had aced it i mean i, I don't think there's a better example of uh, how to use moment marketing and how to do it uh, in a classy way which uh, doesn't take away from the uh, from the product or from uh, from the event that's happening no uh, uh, but uh, but the why is the more important thing isn't it hari yeah that's right so if you look at moment marketing uh which we also call topical advertising at mm. some point of time mm. it's it's a form of a different kind <laughs> uh, because uh. you know when you don't get to use a brand huh. or buy a brand you go through fear of missing out yeah but when a brand does not do moment marketing it's the brand which is experiencing the fomo <laughs> because that's it's what true. the public is talking about yeah. that's what yeah. people are, that is what is trending <laughs> which is the new uh, you know word and they also have to justify it on an excel sheet on an excel also, sheet people yeah. are double the fomo <laughs> <laughs> huh. so uh, i guess where the public is uh, in their hearts in their minds mm. it's important for brands to go out and tell them that hey what you're thinking about is what i'm thinking about mm. how you are responding to this situation is how i'm responding to this situation but there's also this thing about you know overdoing it is a very real uh, uh, danger is it not 
yeah it is so you got to be uh, trading a very thin line here mm. as to uh, you know brands are very careful not to get political yeah uh, and yeah. whatever they say stays in the realm of humor yeah. uh, and and also is acceptable by everybody also the internet is forever so there's always this comparative thing the that the internet comes. never forget never <laughs> forget yeah. and, and there's always are this was what was done in 1937 by uh, yeah uh, you dig it out you know? and uh, <laughs> brands can get into a lot of scrutiny huh. uh, of uh, behaviors in the past but do you think as a uh, as a as a brand uh, consultant as someone who's dealt with brands and has sort of you know built some as well uh, do you think it's still uh, relevant it's still a, a a risk worth taking so to speak well if you put the right uh, boundaries mm -hmm. and you put the right mechanisms mm -hmm. uh, because fact checking is important yeah uh, and it's 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 very important to see Wh how people are already responding to things mm. sometimes mm. if a matter subject matter gets too controversial right then don't don't even go near that because then you got to defend it mm. once you've taken action uh, an action mm. you've got to also defend it and stand by it but you know there's the problem is that uh, we all have uh, 2020 uh, vision in hindsight <laughs> <laughs> you never know what's going to become that's uh, true so it's a risk worth taking hmm. i guess uh, many brands have uh, certain guidelines of saying stay away from politics hmm. uh, hmm. stay away from highly controversial issues unless of course hmm. you are a brand that is built on built on controversy uh, you remember benetton Oh yeah, and of course. Uh, oh yeah, and and you had uh, the colors. United colors. United colors was still very palatable. Yeah, but when you had world leaders uh, kissing each other, Absolutely. was uh, it it kind of oh, ruffled man. a lot of feathers. It did. We were talking about uh, the importance and the and the nuances of moment marketing, uh, topical advertising as as you've been calling it as well, which is to um, take something that's happening uh, at the moment and associate your brand with it so that uh, the goodwill, the recall becomes uh, uh, that much better. Have I have I got? Yeah. Right? it it's uh, you are in a relevant moment you're mm. juicing something that is currently being discussed mm -hmm. which very hotly so you want to be part of that conversation sure so that's what uh, brands do when they juice moment yeah. moment yeah. marketing and you were talking about the fluid and the fixed uh, kind of moment marketing which uh, my inner pseudo is so happy to talk about <laughs> because this is the kind of jargon that i want to throw around uh, sounding intelligent so please tell us so Hari. master of jargons mm. and and essentially the framework with which brands operate on uh, moment marketing is not it's not a coincident or it's not that you wake up one morning and you say hey i want to do something around something that's happened today uh, like say neeraj chopra has uh, won the well, yeah world champion he's now world champion and olympic champion so that's big or for that matter how pragyananda was uh, almost came close and runner up yeah. Yeah. this is a remarkable achievement Absolutely. for such a young person uh and that's what the people talk about chandrayaan we talked about we we kind of uh were so proud and 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 that was a conversation that is still going on uh it's it's been on more than a week so what happens is these moments are very important for us as a collective as a hmm. society hmm. and brands recognize that hmm. and brands want to be part of that conversation so. and therefore how do they do that like i said it's not a coincidence they have a framework so most brands operate on uh two buckets hmm. one is a fixed bucket where you know that this festival is going to come you know 15th of august you know 26th of uh january, january. Of uh and of course a whole lot of other festivals sure. and then there are these fluid moments things that happen hmm. without a signal you know without without a calling like someone won a medal sure. someone rescued a dog sure uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's important that too uh, but listen I, i'm sorry to beat the same drum yet again but there's been so many instances when we've seen those ad uh, advertisements on 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 tv or in newspapers on the internet and we have said to ourselves oh man i mean not again this is yeah i mean really stop piggybacking on some things of national pride you know i mean if a neera if somebody says oh we are flying as high as neera chopra's javelin so to speak it does doesn't doesn't really work so sometimes it's a good idea to let go of a few things because you know it's going to become that obvious well that's where reputation comes in so mm -hmm. if you are the proverbial a uh, jester mm. who has a funny take on anything that happens in society mm. and you are then given that leeway mm. your your reputation is is there as a as a commenter and therefore people are willing to give you that 
and they respect you for that hmm. but if you're a brand which is just doing it for the sake of it hmm. you probably won't even be remembered and you're just adding to the noise and so then, it's yeah it's but very important to have a, t- a t- uh, track record and if you don't have a track record sure. it's important to build it consistently over time sure sure i'm thinking that uh, 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 social media and uh, and us living in that world means that we must do listicles i of mean course. we must do it hari and as i always say those three points are flashing in my head sartha oh my god <laughs> like a neon sign itself <laughs> do so, enlighten us hari so point number 1 is that don't be late because if you're talking about chandrayaan 10 days after it happened then chances are that you're going to be laughed at or you're going to be ignored <laughs> yeah uh, the second thing is don't be impulsive grabbing the moment doesn't mean being impulsive you've mm. got to think about how it works on people's sentiments whether you're politically correct or incorrect depending on where you are on the uh, scale of the brand absolutely and the third thing is don't don't be the same don't be like everyone else be unique yeah. have a unique creative take because the moment is the same for everybody absolutely. but the take is what makes the brand different yeah. and distinctive yeah Absolutely. I guess those are the three big points while arriving at moment. There was also one more big point that you were making while we were off air which was about uh, being impulsive. I think uh, uh, th- uh, that's important to remember that uh, uh, be being in the moment is not equal to being impulsive. Being impulsive yes, yes, that's uh, uh, and education read about <laughs> the moment. It's important. That is only how you will get a perspective, no? Education is extremely important, isn't it? Hai? Absolutely. And uh, so good it feels to, you know, give education to people about marketing. I feeling good about <laughs> yourself. I and really like this uh, <laughs> gyan session with <laughs> you. <laughs> Just deluding ourselves that we <laughs> we are the make, best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we make sense and we understand everything but what we're trying to do is uh, uh, we are humble yeah. <laughs> i think we are just trying to add some fun into yeah, the whole yeah, absolutely uh, thing, yeah. we're just trying to see if uh, you know uh, we can get you to think a little about uh, about uh, what is being thrown at us to be seen and really and what goes behind yeah, behind the scenes yeah that's important because uh, some of us have seen it and some of us would like to tell you that story because uh, you know uh, what are we if not stories the wonderful hari krishnan ladies and gentlemen i will uh, definitely to see you next week yes sure that's what it is marketing mavens ladies and gentlemen taking a short break coming right back right here on 94.3 radio 1